welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing fine well today i have a mind triggering video it is a video that will leave you with mixed feelings or emotions and make you sad at the same time now it is a video about a white guy insulting women with big sized bodies with what he claims to be preferences and he goes on to say that he doesn't like indian women and trans women uh, and trans people and how he just has dating preferences which are not even preferences if you ask me let's check out his video i think fat women are freaking gross not really a fan of indian women trans dudes they look weird all of those are dating preferences of mine and i'm allowed to have those and so are you i've had people tell me you wouldn't date a fat girl oh my god you're so fat phobic uh no i love all people just the same and i believe in unity among all people but i'm allowed to have a dating preference because the thought of seeing a fat woman naked makes me want to vomit and if me saying that made you uncomfortable you have something to work on not me please tell me right now bald guys are disgusting tell me i look like a naked mole rat what the hell happened to call you oh my gosh is that rufus from kim possible awesome that's your preference and i don't and i can't take that personally i can't tell you who to date and i'm not here to judge you for who you want to i know dating preferences aren't personal because i'm not a sensitive little snowflake you heard that right now after saying all these bad things i don't know what he was expecting but a lot of people are dragging him and or on social media for insulting women and him not knowing what a preference is because you know preferences are inclusionary and like how he did it like he was just uh telling people what he doesn't like but preferences are what you like so let's check out some of the stitch videos and hear what people had to say a fan of indian women trans oh thank god Y'all had me scared. You had me scared, sir. Yes, we're gross. Fat girls, we're safe. That the dude from Powder don't like fat chicks. Whew. Yeah, we dodged one. Thank you, Jesus. The fat woman naked makes me want to vomit. This is something that I will just never understand because you claim it's a preference, but you said multiple times in your video that fat women are fucking gross and seeing a fat woman naked would make you want to vomit. That's not a preference. That is you with almost 9 million followers spreading anti-fatness on this platform. A preference is just like, hey, I don't know that I'm attracted to that person. But labeling an entire like group of people and being like they're fucking gross and they make me want to vomit that's bigotry even more so when it is a marginalized group of people I'm really a fan of indian women Freezing. instead of defining your preferences by what you find unattractive why not try saying what you do find attractive instead of saying oh i found fat woman disgusting why not say I find petite women to be absolutely stunning? See what see what I did there? Because the first way you said shit makes you sound like an asshole. I'm just saying. Fan of Indian women? Tran oh no, what will us fat women ever do now that Caillou doesn't like fat people? All jokes aside, you can absolutely have dating preferences, but sitting there and insulting fat people's bodies for no fucking reason when nobody asked is not a dating preference, you're just being an asshole. And then you go on to say that you love all people after making a disgusting comment about how fat people's bodies make you want to vomit. That doesn't sound like you love all people, that sounds like you hate fat people. Then you brought up trans men but you're straight what do trans men have to do with your preferences on dating women come on caillou get it together those are dating preferences of you know honey the problem isn't that you have dating preferences the problem is that you feel the need to insult degrade and demean people who don't fit into those preferences which, by the way, you aren't exactly my type either, but you don't see me insulting your appearance. Maybe you should go and think about that. Have the date that you deserve. Allowed to have those. 
often wonder when people get on the internet and say stuff like this, do you not think that you're ever going to go out in public again? Like you realize you're going to have to go out in public again, right? Like you can't just, I mean, you can live in your house if you want to, but you realize you're going to have to go out in public. Why would you say something like that? Why would you, why would you frame your preferences in such a hateful way? You could have said all of those things and said, I prefer not to date. I don't have a preference for. But instead, you just insulted a category of people for no reason. Especially when you suffer from something that I know you know what it's like to be made fun of for something you don't have control over. We're really getting out of hand on the internet, man. We really are. We're going to meet face to face one day. Women are freaking gross. All right, that's enough of that. As a big, beautiful queen myself, I feel the same way about bald men. And you don't have eyebrows, so that makes it worse. But preferences. And of Indian women, trans. I can't believe that it's 2023 and we still have to explain the differences between dating preferences and being a fucking asshole. Like, for example, I gravitate more towards, like, white guys because I'm attracted to certain characteristics but if i go out of my way just say like oh i prefer white guys because like black guys are fucking gross that's fucking racist dude like just because you don't find someone fuckable doesn't mean that you shouldn't show them basic decency and being be a fucking nice person also i find it really hypocritical that you're trying to come off as this like big trans ally while in the same breath saying that trans guys look weird like, that, those are not dating preferences. You're just fucking, you're, you're just fucking miserable. Now, a preference is a greater liking for one's alternative over another or others. Body size preferences plays a role in healthy weight behaviors. It is defined as an individual's perception of how acceptable their body is to themselves and society. Now, body positivity is the assertion that all people deserve to have a positive body image, regardless of how society and popular culture views ideal shape, size, and appearances. Now, some of the goals of their body of the body positivity movement include challenging how society views your body promoting the acceptance of all bodies and helping people build confidence and acceptance of their bodies now body positivity is not just about challenging how society views uh, people based on their physical size and shape however it also recognizes that judgments are often made based on race gender sexuality and disability it also aims to help people understand how popular media messages contribute to the relationship that people have uh, with their bodies including how they feel about food exercise clothing health identity and self-care now this guy um coming to social media to humiliate people by making uh, inappropriate or negative comments about their body size or shape is sickening because body shaming can be carried out in person or remotely via uh, the internet and social media and this is exactly what this guy has done all in the name of preferences now social media often emphasizes physical appearance and makes it easy to post uh, hateful comments about others the overall message is often that you should strive for the perfect body and find ways to hide your flaws which can have a huge influence on your body image i don't know uh, why certain people think they can dictate is perfect for others like this is the perfect body size and whatnot people are comfortable in their own skin like they're comfortable with their body size and i feel they should be left alone we all have preferences yes but body shaming others just because you feel they don't fit in your category of what you like is crazy like they don't fit in your box of what you like why not leave them alone I'm like making them feel bad. Anyway, these are just my thoughts. Let's check out some of the reactions in the comments and hear what people had to say about this. I think it is it is okay to say what you don't want, but I just think there's no reason to be mean and rude and say it loud to hurt people. I think we all have things we don't like, but that doesn't mean it's anybody else's business. Like why did we need to know this? And preferences aren't what you hate, they're what you love. I mean, I prefer men with eyebrows, if we were discussing preferences. I high-key feel like 
those were groups of people he went after because he thought they were easy and they rejected him not anyone without eyebrows trying to say anything about anyone else he even made a non-apology video telling everyone that you are dumb and not listening if you don't get what he meant okay this is just some of the comments from people and honestly his video was not in any way funny like how do you just start picking on people for no reason in the name of what you call preferences or what you prefer thank you for watching my video and don't forget to share your thoughts on what you think about this video see you in my next video